welcome back. I'm joined by Lopez Lamong. He is a former lost boy of Sudan, an Olympian, and now a graduate of Northern Arizona University's School of Hotel and Restaurant Management. You were a flag bearer in the Olympics and a standard bearer here at Northern Arizona University's recent graduation. What's next for you? Well, basically I've already connected all the dots. As a professional athlete representing this great country of ours, United States, uh, carry the American flag in an opening ceremony, but now I can be uh, able to carry the American flag, uh, also the standard bearer for the uh, hotel business and uh, as a standard bearer. So I think I've already completed everything that I needed and I checked the box that I, I wanted to, to accomplish in my life with a degree of a hotel restaurant management. Well, for me and for many other people watching, I'm sure, yours is a very inspiring story. A difficult start uh, with all of the uh, conflict in your country and being a lost boy and then coming to the United States. Um, it's been quite a journey. And then to have such success in the Olympics, um, what's that been like for you coming to the United States and pursuing your dreams? Wow, I mean, it's, it's huge. You know, sometimes I don't even look, once I look back, I don't even fathom how I, I made up to all the, all, I mean, until right now, you know, to be able to get the degree. You know, my country's been really uh, suffering a lot. Um, we went a lot, through a lot, and, uh, you know, separated my family. And I didn't even know that um, I can be able to get an opportunity like that, like I have right now, until when I came to the United States, you know, from zero education, to be able to, you know, to attend 10th grade in uh, upstate New York, challenging. And I have to learn everything, and I learn the cultures and things like that. My mom has been really pushing me, said, hey, you are going to college, you know, the thing that I never even have a dream of. And uh, so I made, graduated from high school, and I came up here to be able to pursue the dream that my parents uh, wanted me to, um, to accomplish. And now, to have that degree, and have everything that I, I wanted to have in my life and graduated, the first graduate in my family, you know, you know it's, it's amazing. And um, it's, it's something like i be able to push back and see that you can be an Olympic athlete, but also you have to have a degree that to show that you are, your life is complete, basically. <laughs> Absolutely, and at Northern Arizona University, you're a very notable alumnus and what is next for you this year in 2012? Well, 2012 is a preparation for the London twin, uh, Olympics, and I want to I wanna go to the second Olympics. You know, I want to represent the people of you know, Northern Arizona who supported me and my parents, this country, who gave me the opportunity to be able to represent them. And also, like, just kind of open my heart and just to be able to do everything that I need to do to challenge myself to go and stay in that podium and give the thanks to the people of the United States by getting the uh, gold medal in 2012. So, um, you know, since I've already graduated from Northern Arizona and um, now it's just focus is uh, Olympic gold medal and the, um, my other project that I, I need to give back to the people of Southern Sudan. Um, so those are the, th the things that I, I will be focusing on in 2012. Are there any comparisons training for the Olympics and completing a college degree as you have? Oh, that is no comparison. That is no comparison. Co completing college degree is one of the amazing things ever. Because in my life, I always want to be an Olympian. But I, I came up and said, you cannot be an Olympian without having a college degree or any kind of degree. And uh, so when I went to Beijing Olympics, there was something that I checked and it's my college degree. I want to be called Northern Arizona University alumni. That's all I wanted to do in my life. And, um, and now I accomplished that. And um, so I, I can be an Olympian, I can be two-time Olympian, I can be a gold medalist, but to have that degree will always stay within me. That is the most important thing. That's what I told that, you know, people in Northern Arizona when I first I came up here and said, I need the college degree. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Now that you have this degree, um, how might you use it to help the people of your country? Well, I, the reason why I signed up to get the uh, 
hotel restaurant management degree is to be able to bring back the um, you know the tourism um, you know people to be able to go and learn our culture you know back in southern Sudan and expand you know um, our tourism se sector and um, so I'm going to use this degree in in everything in the way I can to bring the, my friends from the United States to visit me in my country to, to open a hotel in my country in Juba and just to show how beautiful that country is and how amazing to be able to run across the River Nile and you know and just and be there so enjoy the, the heat that we, we absolutely have not, not snow but heat is good <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be using this uh, degree uh, to be able to inspire other kids out there who don't have um, their parents, and always there is always somebody who will give them opportunity to accomplish whatever they need to accomplish in their life. And so we use it as inspiration to other lost boys or lo uh, lost girls out there. So. And while you're training and while you're competing, we'll continue to cheer you on and wish you successes. Thank you so much. It's something like I, I really want to like to give back. You know, I won some few NCAA championships for the u university. Now it's time for me to be able to get our university back out to the podium where the where we all belong to the you know Olympics in uh, London 2012. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.